Every time we drill and frack, we give the climate another whack. Every time we drill and frack, we give the climate another whack. Every time we drill and frack, we give the climate another whack. How about ban fracking now? Ban fracking now! Ban fracking now! Ban fracking now! Ban fracking now! This resolution that the commissioners pass is a huge disappointment. What the community has been advocating for, what we need, is to take the current moratorium that prevents all aspects of drilling and fracking operations with the, the, within the boundaries of the Delaware River watershed and turns it into a permanent ban. The DRBC commissioners did not heed our advice. They did not put forth a straight ban resolution. Instead, they put forth a resolution that allows the opportunity for some prohibitions, but also allows for some of the most devastating aspects of drilling and fracking operations to come into our beautiful Delaware River watershed, including the disposal of fracking wastewater and the use of our clean Delaware River water for fracking operations elsewhere outside of the boundaries of the watershed. The largest free-flowing river east of the Mississippi, the Delaware works very hard every day to provide 17 million people with drinking water and is home to diverse and iconic species like the bald eagle, American shad, American eel, Atlantic sturgeon, short-nosed sturgeon, sea turtles, horseshoe crabs, dwarf wedge mussels, and many special and rare birds, reptiles and amphibians, benthic organisms and aquatic and terrestrial fauna. And this inspires great allegiance in the people who live, work, and recreate here. Those who are sustained by the river's water as well. These vulnerable and irreplaceable assets are offered freely by the river to all of us and the human and non-human communities that depend on them. Fracking and its operations will degrade, diminish, and destroy these outstanding features that make the Delaware a congressionally recognized wild and scenic river and a vital water supply. And we also make today crystal clear that your attempt with the adopted fracking resolution to cut the baby in half, like Solomon did, is well established to end in disaster. And advancing the resolution, considering the allowance of some frack activities or vague prohibitions of fracking, you will meet with fierce oppositions from every corner of the Great Delaware River watershed because we simply will not tolerate toxic frack waste and gross depletion of our river's flows to fuel frack frenzy here or outside of the basin. We want a total and complete and permanent ban on gas drilling and fracking in all its phases throughout the entire Delaware River watershed, and we will settle for nothing less. That is what the Delaware Riverkeeper Network declares, and what you will hear in myriad ways from people from their own point of view here today. Yes, we declare here and now that we pledge to defend the Delaware, and you cannot stop us from de defending the Delaware. And we know that you prohibit signs, but this is not a sign. It's a flag, and it's a handkerchief. And it says, we pledge to defend the Delaware. We pledge to defend the Delaware. You can't have it both ways. You can't say fracking is bad, you're not going to allow it in the watershed, but then enable fracking by uh, using Delaware River water and your know, basin water and uh, transferring it over to other places as well as accepting frack wastewater discharge. Um, now, as Mr. Tianpi uh, has argued, as others could, you know, the resolution doesn't say that, it's vague, look at our rules. Um, the bottom line is the temporary moratorium is stronger uh, than banning fracking state uh, basin-wide, let alone in a couple counties, um, if it's traded to permit interbasin transfers and intrabasin discharge. So we again pledge to defend the Delaware River. And yes, um, Mr. Tambini, I know you like your process, but at the end of the day, you work for us. Um, and we will... When you start having meaningful processes and meaningful um, uh, respect for us and um, such, uh, we will have perhaps a little more, um, listen to your rules a little more carefully. If it's not safe here, if it's not healthy here, if it's not okay for our people, it's not okay for any people, 
So to say that we would allow water withdrawals to do fracking in other areas is absolutely, absolutely unjust and ridiculous. And obviously, Delaware is downstream. We are at the receiving end of whatever comes down to Delaware, and that includes and would be very dangerous if it included fracking in water. So we hope that Governor Carney and all the commissioners will reconsider that point and implement a full ban on all fracking activities. Out west, nine states are on fire. They're on fire. This is happening right now. Ash is blanketing Portland from miles away. We recently had all the superstorms. It's reported that Puerto Rico, parts of Puerto Rico, might not have power for six months. The shit has hit the fan, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to unplug the fan. It's time to unplug fossil fuels. We need a total ban now. Woo! Woo!